Panthers fans, Scott Warris, and one of the newcomers that's going to play a big, big role for the Panthers' success this season, A.J. McKee, a senior from Queens, from Charlotte. And A.J., first of all, welcome formally. Obviously, you've been here for the entire summer months and yes, practice sir. and camp and all that stuff. Um, let's just rewind a little bit. Obviously, you have the Coach Lundy connection yes, sir. from Queens. When you started thinking about, with one year left of eligibility, to come here and reunite with Coach Lundy, take us through that decision process. Um, it wasn't, <clears throat> I would say, a hard decision process. I would just say, like, I wanted to go somewhere where I knew I would be able to make an immediate impact from what I do, like, mm -hmm. best. So if that's playing defense or being just that voice on the court, I wanted to go somewhere that was going to let me do that. Like, because I know I'm going to score. I know the scoring is going to come. Mm -hmm. That's just how basketball lives. That's how the basketball guys work. So that was my main thing, being able to come somewhere where I can be the voice. What is your voice on the court? I mean, fans are getting to know you eventually, uh, know you really well. What is your voice? How do you find that on the floor? Just, especially, especially in a new place, new guys. Um, just bringing energy, bringing mm -hmm. positive energy 24-7. Even if I'm having a bad day off the court or if stuff is not going right off the court, I know that my job is to come here and be that positive voice for my teammates and for us to get 1% better every mm -hmm. day. Like, I have to be that. And that's my biggest thing. That's the biggest thing that I'm working mm -hmm. on now is just being the positive voice and keep being a positive vo voice even when things are going bad. You've had a stellar uh, career collegiately so far, over 1,500 points, multiple-time all-conference honoree. When it comes to trying to implement your style and what you bring offensively and defensively, we should point out, obviously, how does that fit? How is that gelling right now? Because it is a process. Yes, sir. It's, and it's been a good process. It hasn't been anything that I haven't been able to adjust mm -hmm. to just the main thing um keeping my teammates involved like not making my teammates feel like oh i'm that guy but mm -hmm. i just want everyone to be on the same page on the same step as to it because when we win everyone's going to win it's not just going to be me winning it's going to be a team thing and we have built that connection to where i feel like everyone is coming along with their roles and knowing what they're going to be in and what's going to What's, what's the team going to take for us to win at a high level? I was going to ask about the roles and defining roles, and it's still very early on in the process, you know, from the big picture standpoint. Do you feel like that, that's coming along, though? It, it feels like things are moving quickly in terms of all those intangibles and X-factor stuff. Yes, yeah, so I feel like it's coming along good. I feel like we, those six senior guards, like, we do mm -hmm. an amazing job of being that voice and showing the people under us, like, even if there is being surrounded by talent, like there's a way to push through for you to be the best that you can be on the court. Mm -hmm. When it comes to this team, who have you seen from your players' perspective, from your veteran players' eyes? Who have you seen that excites you? Like, oh man, you guys got to look out for this guy or that guy. Um, I would have to say Jermichael Stillwell. Okay. I played a lot of college basketball, and there's not a lot of guys like him. Like. Every play he goes hard, even if he's messing up, he's going to go 100%. Like, every rebound right now is his. Like, that's his mindset. And that's the mindset you got to have coming into a program like this who put 20, two 20 plus win seasons back to back. And that's the biggest thing. That's our biggest margin is mm -hmm. offensive rebound. And Jermichael Stillwell, he does both offense and defensive rebound at a, at a very high level. From a team standpoint, what excites you the most? Is, is, there a, is there an element of the squad collectively that really gets you going? Um, everyone wants to win. Yeah. Being around... It's a motivated six, group. Being around 16, 17 guys that wants to win, it, it's, it gives you that motivation to get up every day and do go practice mm -hmm. and give it all you got because you want to win for them just how they know you want to win for them too. So it's just the biggest, that's the biggest thing. Just that motivator right there. Okay, uh, last thing on the way out here is the, and you can just tell us because we're just among friends here, is the, is the Coach Lundy you see now, the same Coach Lundy from back in the Queens days, a few years back? Has he uh -oh. changed at all? Coaching is, style? Is he mellowed? On the court, is, he, coach, is he mellowed? I don't know. No, nah, I intensity? wouldn't say he's mellowed on the court. <laughs> Off the court, he, he's, he's been, always been yeah. this 
chill guy that everyone loves okay. and that's just you're always going to get when anywhere you're always going to get coach lundy like mm -hmm. he's not going to be a different coach lundy here and a different coach lundy there you're going to get the same mm -hmm. coach lundy in any type of environment that's why he's that's why you have lundy magic got lundy magic in there and everything okay we'll keep talking throughout the year i'll see if i can pull some yes, good sir. lundy dirt stories <laughs> out of here. Yes, all right aj good Thank to meet you. you good to good see you good to see you too don't forget uh monday november 4th panthers lakeland it all begins then thanks for watching